This is just a quick video for anyone looking to repair or maintain their Rheem tankless water heater like I am. My water heater started displaying code 13 intermittently, often while someone was taking a hot shower. When that happens, the water turns cold. Understandably, that could be very uncomfortable during the coming winter. A temporary fix was to turn off the water, turn off the heater, and turn it back on. That would clear the code. However, the root cause is that the heater may have gotten dirty and needs some parts replaced. For my heater, I noticed that only half of the heater was working, which you can see through this small window. Something to note is that this tankless water heater adjusts the amount of heat depending on what is needed. So if you only have one faucet open partially, the heater may only need to burn at half capacity. To be sure that the igniter coil is broken, you may need to turn on more than one faucet to be sure that the heater is burning at max capacity. To access this small window, you will need to remove the front cover. To do this, there are two screws on the top and two screws on the bottom. Please be aware that removing the front cover will expose you to the heater, which could be very hot, so be very careful if you attempt this. Turns out, there's an ignition coil that wears out and needs to be replaced. Because of the prevalence of fakes and counterfeits when shopping online, nowadays I try to buy directly from the official website or OEM parts from a reputable source if the first option is not available. Replacement parts are hard to find, and the official website is buggy and unhelpful. Searching by the model number, which in my case is Eco 180 DBN, which you can find on the side of the heater, nothing turns up. Turns out, the model number is a rebadge of the official model number. I found this manual which listed all the models next to each other in this tankless model cross-reference and notes table. For my model, the official model number is RTG66DVN, as you can see from this table. Scrolling to the 66DV page, I see a list of parts, all beginning with RTG2016. Once I plug this number in, I see all the replacement parts, which look very similar to the ones on my heater. I also found that SupplyHouse.com lists many of the replacement parts for ring tankless water heaters. I ordered an ignition coil and two flame rods and have them here. Let's compare them with the ones I removed from the heater. As you can see, they are identical. As I understand it, Amazon also has similar parts, but the sellers are sketchy and none of them claim to be OEM. Once I've replaced the parts, the heater is now firing on all cylinders. Now we'll see if that gets rid of the issue we're having. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps anyone who is in the same predicament. Now, in this video, I'm not going to go through the process of replacing the parts, as it's hard to do with one hand holding a camera. But I'll post a link to a guide I created when I performed this procedure. Also, there are other YouTube videos that go through this, some of which I followed myself. But before you begin taking apart your water heater, be sure to turn off the water by locating the valve, which for me was on the wall in my garage. Turn off the gas going into the water heater, and turn off the water heater itself. Now you may begin. This is the flame rod that I replaced. It is pretty easy to access without needing to take out the burner assembly, which is more involved. This is the burner assembly. I took out the electrode in order to replace the igniter coil. Even though the electrode looks very similar to the flame rod, they are two different parts. Finally, there is a manual that lists all the replacement parts. I'll link to all these resources in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But please keep in mind that I'm not a handyman nor a water heater technician. 
I self-taught myself what I know by watching YouTube and reading articles on the internet that others have put together.